John and Karen Art Gallery is located on the third floor of the Belva Public Library on Pinnacle Street in downtown Belva. The gallery began in 1973 as the Corby Library Gallery. It was in the original library building, which is across the street, kitty corner to us now. Since 1973, the gallery has gone through several transformations. And as you see it now, it's an enormous space with three galleries, a corner gallery, a foyer gallery, and a meeting room, which is also used as a studio space. As you enter the gallery space, either from the stairwell or the elevator, you'll notice that uh, the foyer gallery is where we hang quilts. And as you enter further into the gallery space, we will either showcase uh, an artist's work or some of our permanent collection in the foyer gallery. As you turn the corner, you will see the corridor gallery. We often have photography there and we have emerging artists mostly. Um, sometimes we have small works by local groups such as the Belleville Art Association. And as you're in the corridor gallery, you will notice three separate rooms and these are the galleries. Gallery one is the largest space. Gallery two in the middle is slightly smaller. And gallery three is dedicated to our collection of Manly McDonald paintings, which was donated by the Parrot Foundation when we moved into this space 10 years ago. We really don't have any limits as to what type of artwork we show in the galleries. We've had traveling shows from other galleries and associations. We also show local artist work. We uh, highlight our partnerships with the Belleville Art Association and the Quinney Arts Council. Through the Belleville Art Association, we have had many shows here uh, at the John M. Merritt Gallery. We continue to find ways of showing our work and the partnership is extremely helpful to artists who belong to the Belleville Art Association. Uh, it's just a, a beautiful place to show work. This is one of the finest uh, presentation galleries um, in the region, probably one of the best between John and Otto. It's quite a treasure. Programming that we offer here at the Parrot Gallery is again varied. Um, it's not all visual arts programming. We also have musical concerts and we also offer open studio space with an instructor. Mostly it's about getting people in and engaging in the arts and the cultural aspect of their community. It's a beautiful room for workshops. It has great lighting and uh, we've had lots of workshops here. We're so grateful to the Williams family for their donation of this wonderful grand piano. It's a Yamaha disc Levere piano uh, from Pinnacle Music Studios. The amazing thing about this is that it is an acoustic and a digital piano all in one. We're so fortunate to live in an area that is so rich with artistic talent. So in the Parrot Gift Shop, we uh, offer works handmade by local artisans and regional artisans. We'd really like to get the word out about the gift shop because uh, it's beautiful. It represents lots of local people's work and it's not overly priced. It's a beautiful place to shop for gifts for your friends, your family and yourself. If you were recommending to a friend a place to buy a gift that's locally handcrafted, this is a, as good a place as any to go. Our partnership with the Belleville Art Association, I've really gotten to know the staff um, quite well, particularly uh, Susan Holland, who is, is a wonderful curator. And she is one of uh, the great resources for the arts in the city of Belleville. I would highly recommend this gallery to everyone in the community. I wouldn't limit it just to the artistic element, but everybody should be using their public gallery. If you need a quiet space because you're having a hectic day, come on up to the third floor. It's quiet, it's lovely, you're surrounded by beautiful artwork. It's good for your soul. It's a real gem, this gallery.